Welcome back to Make a Mark Studios. I'm Miss V, artist and art teacher. And today we're going to be drawing a graphite rose step by step. You're going to need to gather a few materials before getting started. First, you're going to need a piece of white paper, a roller, some graphite pencils. In my video, I'll be using three different pencil grades, a 2B, HB, and 2H and you're also going to need a blending stump. Before we begin, just a couple quick reminders about using pencil grades. Pencils vary in grades, which is the hardness of the pencil. We're gonna be looking at a 2H, HB, and 2B for this activity. You'll notice that each of these pencils with the same amount of pressure show very different values. H pencils stand for hard, this means they're a very hard graphite and they go on lighter. HB stands for hard black and it goes on in a medium tone. B stands for black and these pencils are soft graphite. They go on without much pressure, very dark, and they blend and smudge very easily. To get started, you're first going to need to draw a perfect square any size will do for this. You'll see in mine that I'm making my square three and a half inches on each side. But you could make this eight by eight or 10 by 10. Then we're gonna very lightly draw our grid lines. We're gonna go from corner to corner to make an X and then a plus sign through the midpoint very lightly. Here's our gridded reference photo. Feel free to pause here to sketch out your own rows. Keep your pencil lines light. Keep it light till you get it right. Whenever I sketch out my rows, I start with the edges first. You might find another way that works better for you. Um, I like this way just because it kind of helps me figure out my space. I'm constantly relating to those grid lines, seeing which part of those little triangles my parts of the rows are lining up with. Keep this very light. You can also do a light little rendering of where some of your darkest shadows are just to help you organize your space. To add value, I'm first gonna start with my 2H, my lighter graphite pencil, and I'm gonna start just adding in my tones. A lot of artists will recommend that you work from left to right if you're right-handed and right to left if you're left-handed. Um, this is just a suggestion to help with some of that excess smudging that might happen as you're working with graphite. Um, another suggestion would be to keep a piece of paper in between your drawing and your hand. That way, if your hand accidentally rests upon your drawing, you're not smudging. Your goal is to slowly build up value and build contrast. So the darkest parts of the rows are gonna be as dark as you can get your graphite to go. The white areas of the rows are gonna be pure white of the paper, and then you wanna strive for those nice gray tones throughout. As you work, you'll wanna be erasing out those grid lines, keeping your whites nice and clean, and you can also use your blending stump to create smooth areas of value. You don't wanna become overly smudgy, so if you use the blending stump, you still wanna go back in with your pencil and eraser, cleaning up edges,
Again, as you work, you really want to start pushing down with your pencil and layering heavily to get the darkest areas on the rose picture to be as dark as you can get your graphite to go. I recommend as you work to keep your pencils nice and sharp. As you work, continue cleaning up edges, darkening the darks, and brightening your whites, keeping them the whites of the paper. As you work, if you'd like, you can go over your edges. Um, you can see in my example, I outline my edges with a Sharpie marker just to clean up my presentation of my drawing. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. Feel free to subscribe for more videos from Make a Mark Studios, helping you to make your mark through art.